Okay, in this video I want to take a quick look at how we go about creating a footer in our web design project. So here goes. So we have our first thing built. We're working in Dreamweaver. And I'm going to come on into the code real quick. And I want to go to my source code. So if you're seeing your CSS, just click over for here. And I want to put my footer at the end, right? And I want it to be right before my closing body tag. So because it's part of the body, and there we have it, it's after my main content. So I come back to split view, and what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to come to my insert window, and I'm going to insert a footer. So there I have it. Now, I want it to be, I'm just going to come in, I'm going to specify, and what I want to specify is that it will come after tag, and that it will come after main content. I want a new CSS rule. I want to make sure that this is an ID, which means that it will apply to uh, one HTML element on the page. I also want to come in and I'm going to name it footer bottom. Now, I'm adding the word bottom to it as well because footer is also an HTML tag, so and it can get confused when we have the CSS and the HTML named the same. So I'm going to hit OK. I'm making sure that it's attached to a CSS sheet. I hit OK. I come on in and I'm going to make the box. And now my height, if I look at my little sketch here, I want it to run the length of the screen. I want it to be this color, FFCC99, and I want it to be 120 pixels tall. So I'm gonna come on in, I'm gonna specify this. Let me go back to the background. Let me choose my background color, FFCC99, and I can see the color appears. I'm going to come to the box, the width, I want it to run the length. So I'll make it auto, and my height I'm putting in at 190. I'm not going to worry about um, margin top um, or margin bottom. I want it to go to the bottom of the web page. And the reason why I'm not going to worry about this is uh, because there already is some space after the main content. I hit OK. I hit OK. And... There it is, I have my bottom footer. Now let me delete this text that's in here. I can do that, I can come on into the code and I'm gonna delete this and hit return. I'm gonna come file, save all, excellent. I'm gonna come, I'm gonna see how it looks with Coffee Shop so I can see that I just wrote this CSS for this. I can come into my source code, I can see, okay, look, I just wrote a, um, HTML tag, my footer opening, my footer closing tag. Now, I come in here and it's saying that the ID is footer bottom. So it's telling the website to pull the stylizing information from that CSS rule, which is found on the CSS sheet. Let's preview it in our browser. We come to file, we come to preview in browser. Hmm, okay, it's not working because I'm on the CSS sheet. Let's go to index. Let's go to split view. Let's come to file. Let's go to preview and browser. Let's go to Google Chrome or whichever one you'd like to do. And it's good actually to view it in more than one um, because sometimes we'll find that it will render differently based on the website. So there we have it. We scroll on down and we have our footer. Thanks so much for listening. The next thing I could do is come in and you know decide what I want to have in my footer. And if you didn't want it to run the length, you could have you could also come in and change the size and make the size line up with everything else. Thanks so much.